Uh, Margaret Gardner of RMIT, thank you very much for giving some time to Business Spectator and to talk about leadership in, in your area and your area of education and here at RMIT in Melbourne. And because you are a global college, yeah. tell us about the impact of the dollar at, at, at a US 105. Is that difficult for you? Uh, Is What would be an optimum rate for you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, we, we had all these notions about what was an optimum rate a little while ago. I don't think we know what that optimum rate is anymore, mm. of course, when the dollar's at that rate. Mm. Uh, it is difficult to bring students onshore. It matters less, of course, for students from offshore. Mm. And so, yes, it's not ideal, but uh, when it's high, it makes it harder to, for students to come to you and to have an affordable education. Mm. But it's not an insurmountable problem. Uh, unfortunately, you can offset, as you say, with your overseas colleges. Roughly what percentage of your students are in those offshore campuses? Uh, of our 20, 25, 26,000 international students, about 16,000 are offshore, so well more than half. We are the largest offshore international student place yes. in Australia. What advice would you give to someone in the same position who aspires to an educational career now, an executive career like your own? Um, I think there are, there are two major things. You can't really successfully lead uh, a university unless you are really experienced in university education and you passionately care about university education and research. Mm. So it matters that you've had experience on the ground. Mm. And if you don't build really solid, but also diverse experience on mm. the ground, then you're not a credible leader. Mm. And the other thing I would say is then you actually have to think seriously about what sort of management and leadership experience you get because these are in the main in Australia very large organisations and you can't manage a large organisation by quite limited face-to-face -face skills you actually have to have to build significant management and leadership skills so you have to test yourself you have to put yourself in those positions mm. and they're difficult. Mm. Tell me about business and uh, your views on wider leadership issues. I know that you are friends with Therese Rain, a, a businesswoman who's very widely admired by mm. our own uh, viewers. Have you learned anything from her business style? Therese is just an extraordinary woman uh, as a leader. And what I've learned from her, Therese is entrepreneurial in ways that are really quite amazing. So. Her really strong capacities are those capacities to look out incredibly boldly and to not ever be daunted by, oh, nobody's been there before or mm. nobody's managed that before or this is a totally mm. foreign environment to go into. Mm. That risk-taking mm. and that ability to see opportunity and to manage the risk of taking those opportunities a yes. very significant skill. Tell us a little bit about uh, Naomi Milgram, if you would, again, who is a manufacturer. Uh, she's in a very difficult environment, right? She's making, she's in the textile business mm. as such in Australia at a very difficult time, but she's very widely admired and also by you. Why, wh what is it that, that you admire? Um, there are a number of things I admire. Again, this is someone who knows intimately every bit of the field they're in mm. and they're absolutely able to see both the big picture and exactly all the things that they need to do to deal with what is an incredibly challenging environment. It's that level of analytics and understanding and decision making that's really, uh, really impressive. The other thing I really admire is then this whole other side in terms of giving to the community, in terms of arts and the caring for the visual and creative arts. Mm. And that's, that's a really interesting and nice balance. You see the same thing in Therese Ray and commitment yes. to causes like the homeless. It's really inspiring to see people mm. who are both either so bold or so capable or so decisive in their own businesses and then so caring or so passionate and so committed mm. to these other fields. Thank you very much Margaret for speaking to Business Spectator.